Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Redbeard's Restorations. Uh, today I wanted to just do a quick video on how I'm going to make my airbrush rack. Uh, I recently got this airbrush right here. Uh, you probably saw it in the last video. Uh, it's an Iwata Neo. Um, so I don't want to leave it just sitting like that anymore. I want to uh, build a little holder that's going to be mounted to my wall right here. Um, but first I wanted to go over another project that's going to be coming up. I'm in the middle of doing a knife making project. I already have this. Let's see if I can catch the light on it. I already have this cut out to this point. Um, I kind of wish I had recorded from the very beginning, but oh well. Um, but yeah, so I got that. And then also I'm going to use that black palm again uh, for the handle. I think that'll look pretty good. Uh, it's kind of like a survival type knife. Um... But before we get started on the airbrush holder, I do want to um, just let you know about other future videos. Uh, this one, since it's by itself, I'm not going to do the French cleat setup on it. Um, but this, I wanted to show you guys, is another little holder that I just made. Uh, this has this is my for my chisels. Well, some of my chisels. Um, so I got them all in here. I drilled out holes for them to see it in the base, and then they have magnets on the on the backs, countersunk in. So as you can see, hopefully I don't have to do an outtake. Yeah, see, that they're not going anywhere. Uh, they're heavy-duty magnets in there. Um, the plan for this, along with all the other ones that I'm building, uh, besides, again, the airbrush one that's going to go right here, uh, they're going to go on this wall right here, which um, once I get it a little bit farther along, I'm going to start doing some videos on that as well. Um, but that's going to all be done with the French cleat setup. Um, so again, that's what I'm going to be doing along this whole wall uh, down the road. That's going to be another project. Um, but today, I just wanted to do a quick little video how I'm going to put together a little holder to go right here for the airbrush uh, and a bunch of the paints that I have. Around the lift, something like that. 
Okay, so we're back. Uh, I got all the edges sanded um, nice and rounded over, so if anything bumps into it, like an elbow or anything, it won't cause significant damage. So let's get some glue on these. And then we'll hit them with a few nails. Now, I'm assuming this is going to paint another set of lines, um, since it is a brush board and paint holder. So, I'm not going to turn about to squeeze out or even make this super clean. I just want the edge rounded. Um, I'm obviously going to be a little bit clearer, or, you know, I'm going to something. Um, just make sure you put a little bit more time to it. Um, it doesn't take much. So, I'm pretty sure there's no more here to do this in the first I'm going to put it against that, so that good contact all the way around. You know, what else might be good? What else might be good? I'm going to put the glue right here, but this should be nice. Mix with nails on the side. This should be nice. You're going to hold this like this. Three nails should be funny, I Alright, I'll let us see that on the side now. Now put this on here. Oh, that's not that loud. It's all in here. Now that that. And this is not being super big on that. Just hold it like that. Like that. The hose down here. We'll have this right here. Paints, 
whatever, airbrush. Oh yeah, my secondary little um, hopper. I don't know if it's called a hopper. I'm just assuming that's what it's called. I suppose. Okay, so here's how to make the best of a bad situation. I'm just going to drive a nail right here to where it'll hold this, and it'll cover up that screw up. And then we'll do the countersink little magnet right here. Easy peasy. So we're just going to put this right here. Ow. So it's over there drying by the garage door. Uh, I ended up just hitting it with a, just a rattle can spray paint black. Um, so while it's drying, I figured I'd give a little sneak peek of what's for the next video. Um, so my great, either great grandpa or great great grandpa had a Ford Model A truck. Um, and these tools were passed down to me. Uh, we're going to be restoring this group of old Ford uh, tools that came with the toolkit for the Model A. Uh, as you can see, I don't know how clear it is right here. Uh, there's the Ford logo. And then right there. right there and then this is the tire tool I believe um, for prying it uh, to fix the tube I believe I'm not hundred percent sure I've never worked on a Ford Model A um, this does not have a Ford stamp that I can see on it but it is pretty pitted around right here it could be underneath that um, but yeah so um, the next video, once this airbrush uh, caddy or airbrush shelf, whatever you want to call it, is done, uh, I'm going to be tearing into these. And then I also, um, my mom, she has a picture of the Model A. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to restore these, get them looking clean like they would. I'm thinking I might go something like what my... Craftsman wrenches are. Oh my gosh. I might do something like this where it's polished um, and then maybe try to polish the Ford logo. I don't know. I don't want to ch chance um, sanding it down and losing the Ford logo. Um, but I don't know. I'm not sure yet. But anyway, I want to restore these, get them looking clean, and then I want to get a copy of that picture of the Model A, and then I might build a little uh, showcase for it, where I have the picture mounted in there, um, you know, glass over top of it, maybe like a little shadow box type thing that I can put on the wall here as decoration, because these are family heirloom uh, tools, you know, cool Ford, you don't see them all the time, <clears throat> excuse me, that came out of nowhere. Pretty sure I just drank some sawdust with that. Um, but yeah, you don't see these all the time. Uh, so that's going to be next video. Ow, ow. Well, there you have it. Simple little project. Um, took maybe an hour. And then the compressor is right down here. You can't see it. But right here. So all the airbrushing that I'm going to be doing is going to be right here. So I wanted it to be right here. Um, I feel good about this. The airbrush is protected from literally every angle unless something falls and hits it right there. And if that happens, it's just destiny. You shouldn't be airbrushing. Um, but yeah, just a quick little out of scrap pieces 
didn't cost me, but maybe a couple bucks worth of scrap wood, uh, a couple nails and glue. That's about it. Uh, if you like this um, workshop setup type videos that I'm doing along with the restoration, uh, please let me know in the comments. Um, I'm having a hard time figuring out how I want to do this channel because um, I really want to do a lot of different stuff, like I mentioned in the last video. Um, you know, different how-tos for making a quick little holder or caddy, whatever you want to call it, for airbrush, um, restoration videos, mini bike stuff, home improvement. Um, um, but yeah, let me know what you think in the comments, um, and like and subscribe if you do like the videos. Uh, I'd really appreciate it. It'll help out the channel a lot. But yeah, I'll see y'all next time.